Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been quite a while since I have been on here and I feel like I just need to give an update about where I've been, what's been going on, where I'm headed, and all of that jazz. I just had a lot on my plate this whole, like the past four weeks, honestly. Um, you know, I've really been working on myself. I've been working on my art. I had my first art show, and um, which was incredible and amazing. So aside from the art, I am going to my first yoga teacher training next month, which I'm so excited for. And something that I've been wanting to do for years now, and finally got the opportunity and found the right program for me. So there's been a lot of moving parts with that, which have been also very stressful as someone who likes to have very firm footing when it comes to the way things are going to pan out. And so it's really been putting me into this space of, well, it hasn't really been putting me in there. I've had to like put myself in there, but it's really, really, really been calling me to be in a space of trust and faith and flow and something that can be very challenging sometimes, especially when you are put outside of your comfort zone right, which this is definitely going to be putting me outside of my comfort zone. And it's tough, you know, there's a lot of stuff that comes up with putting yourself outside of your comfort zone. And so really that's been taking up a lot of my energy is being able to work through that. Because quite honestly, I'm the kind of person where when things come up for me, they will keep cycling in my head day in and day out until I sit with them and work them through. Like they will just keep, I will wake up thinking about it. I will go to sleep thinking about it. I won't be able to sleep thinking about it. And so that's really where a lot of the work has been coming in is processing. <laughs> okay, what are my fears? Well, what's the light in this situation? What's the highest path that this could take instead of the, what's the worst that could happen, you know? And my thing is, I just really want to be in the flow of it, right? You know, like I, <sighs> As much as I want to have everything planned and know how everything's going to go, at the same time, I really just want it to flow. I want it to feel natural and organic. I want there to be surprises, like the good kind. I want to be open to that. And see, it's like when you set that expectation of, okay, this is pretty much like what it's going to look like, it makes it really difficult for those kind of surprises to come in and for divine intervention to happen. I don't want to be concerned about knowing everything that is going to happen or what I think is going to happen because honestly I feel so much better not knowing which is really ironic as an intuitive where it's like you pretty much have the ability to just if you want to find things out you can and that goes for everyone right like you don't have to just be a working intuitive literally anybody on this planet but it's like, I just want to not know so that I can feel more trusting and feel more flowing. And just allow literally anything to happen because that just makes it so much easier. You know, I just don't want to be concerned about really having to control everything. And it's funny because I keep oscillating between the small picture and the big picture and i've really been working on this with spirit is that you know with the small picture you're so concerned about like every little moving part what what am i going to do if this happens what am i what am i going to do if that happens and going at it from your single tiny perspective of your own experience right and then when you switch over to the big picture it just makes it so much easier to trust like okay I'm in good hands, like I'm in divine hands. I know I'm gonna be taken care of. I know that literally no matter what happens, it's going to be like for my highest good, right? Like it's going to be what I want or it's going to turn out even better than what I want. It really has been about cultivating stronger faith and more trust 
of course. I'm gonna try to walk and talk going up these stairs. But <laughs> um, one of the biggest things that I really, really learned just in all the work that I've been doing this past month is not to worry so much about what you don't want happening, but more so about what do you want to happen. And it's a really important factor in being able to shift your perspective because we're always worried about like, you know, the worst that could happen or being put in a situation where we might not know how to react immediately or, you know, whatever the case. You know, I keep getting guided that, you know, instead of that kind of thinking to shift into what do I want to happen? What do I want to experience? Because when you start asking yourself that, then you start creating an entirely new picture of what could happen, right? And you open yourself up to more possibilities and even ones that you probably didn't think of at first, right? Really important to understand is that, yes, change is inevitable. Change will come. Whether or not you show up for the work, it will begin to pressure you into changing, but you can influence the degree of change to like in a certain respect, you know, it's like if you're being called <laughs> to transform or even if you're not, you can always, you always have the ability to decide, I'm gonna work on this part of myself right now. And in doing so, essentially influence the degree of change that you're going to experience, right? It's kind of like instead of being dragged by the horse, you're riding it and kind of guiding the reins. Like either way, you're still getting on that horse, you know, whether you are dragged or whether you are actually cooperating with it and riding it. Two totally different scenarios, right? Two totally different energies. So something that's really important to understand, I feel. I think for me anyways, and I'm sure for, for many of us, it's really working to come back into that trusting mindset, especially when the work shows up and really truly believing that, you know, all of this hard work is going to pay off. So I think the most important takeaway from all of that is to really work into moving into this more trusting mindset where it's easier and I can relax a bit more <laughs> instead of ah, just, just being in my head all the time and instead like coming back to my body, right? And just phew, taking things day by day in this physical world. Yeah, uh, unfortunately I will be gone again for an extended period of time, like late March through pretty much all of April. So you guys probably won't see me too much on here during that time. Yeah, I also wanted to mention for readings, I will only have just a, like a few spots open before I leave. And so if you need one, now is the time because I will be gone for pretty much like all of April. So um, yeah, other than that, honestly, thank you all for following my journey. And I really can't imagine just how much more I like, who am I going to be coming out of this and how the work that I've been doing and all this effort that I've been putting into myself, how it's going to integrate and then the way that it's going to shine and radiate outwards. And like, I'm excited to see that difference. I really am. And that's what makes all the work worth it is when you finally see it in yourself and you're like, wow, you know, I've changed. <laughs> and I didn't think that I would get here. And that's such a, you know, like a full circle, very fulfilling feeling. Other than that, that's been my life update. I hope that you got something out of it. And I will be back with another reading very, very soon. Other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and I will see you all next time. Bye.